It's official. Eyelashes are racist. If you mention anything about anybody's eyelashes, you're a racist MAGA MFer. This is according to Jasmine Crockett. So Jasmine Crockett over the weekend, playing the victim here, goes on Jake Tapper's show, CNN. Now, just to back things up here, last Thursday, it was known as the cat fight around the world. Cat fight around the world. Marjorie Taylor Greene makes this comment about Jasmine Crockett's eyelashes. And this was during a committee meeting, committee hearing. Now, this hearing was uh, to determine whether or not Attorney General Merrick Garland is in contempt for withholding these audio recordings or audio excerpts of Biden being interviewed by Robert Hur. Robert Hur was trying to assess Biden's mental capacity. All had to do with these classified documents, I believe. So Marjorie Taylor Greene makes this comment about Jasmine Crockett's fake eyelashes, how her fake eyelashes are preventing her from using common sense. And AOC jumps in the mix. So you got Marjorie Taylor Greene, you got Jasmine Crockett in AOC. And AOC comes out and she says, Oh, baby girl. Oh, no, baby girl. No, you didn't. Strike her words down. Don't even play. Baby girl. So after this debacle, this tete-a-tete, -tete, Jasmine Crockett decides she's going to roll out all this merchandise. Now, I did a video about this last night. And she had made this crack towards Marjorie Taylor Greene, saying, well, would it be okay if I said that you were a bleached blonde, badly built, and had a butch body? So that's what's on these t-shirts, coffee mugs, maybe even mug shots of Trump, I don't know. So she goes on Jake Tapper's show this weekend, CNN, Jasmine Crockett, and she cries her eyeballs out. I'm surprised she didn't lose an eyelash. Or her fake eyelashes didn't fall off. Because she's sitting there claiming victimhood as she's making money off of these t-shirts and coffee mugs. And Jake Tapper, to his credit, asked her point blank, well, you know, you did say in response that MTG had bleach hair, or she was a bleach blonde, badly built, and butch body. Now, I'm surprised that the lesbian feminists haven't come out against Jasmine Crockett. Where are the lesbian uh, feminists? I know you watch my show. Come on, let me know in the comment section below. I'm sure i got a few of you who watch the show. Whether you like me or hate me, doesn't matter. You probably watch the videos afraid to comment, but please leave a comment below if you're a lesbian feminist who doesn't agree with what Jasmine Crockett said, using the term butch body. Because are we not supposed to offend anybody? You are who you are. Who are you to deny my love? And then she's blaming this. Jasmine Crockett is blaming all this on MAGA. You see, it's those MAGA Republicans. Now, I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. I'm an independent voter. And <laughs> it's just hysterical to see this. Now, there's the old saying, you go on TV to cry. There's three reasons, actually, why you go on TV. Either to cry, apologize, or promote. Bottom line, that's why you go on TV. To cry, apologize, or promote. But for this woman, Jasmine Crockett, who's a Democrat from Texas, to go on Jake Tapper's show and claim victimhood and blame it on MAGA while she's making money off of T-shirts and coffee mugs and mug shots of Trump is total crap, total bull crap. And she knows it. So maybe her fake eyelashes are getting to her brain here. Maybe there's a chemical in the eyelashes know, that's uh, kind of affecting your thinking. So I thought I'd come here and talk about this. But this was just a hysterical to see. Now, you got to go watch this clip with Jake Tapper. Because Jake Tapper isn't even buying this. You can tell he's not buying this. But it's MAGA's fault, you see. And Jasmine Crockett is asking, she's shocked. 
that there's so much disagreement in Congress. Hello, it's Congress. You have how many people there? You've got all these people with different opinions and different ideas representing different people in the United States. Uh, there's going to be disagreement somewhere. But it all proves my point, as I've said time and time again here on the channel. Maybe it's time we get rid of D.C. We don't need D.C. Nowhere in the Constitution does it say that the Congress must meet in D.C. Only the Congress meets, they hash out the issues of the day, carry out government functions. I mean, they could go meet in a field somewhere if they wanted to. I mean, the con uh, Constitutional Convention, Philadelphia Convention, was held in Philadelphia. That's why they call it the Philadelphia Convention, right? So I just don't go for this. I just don't go for this. You're going to go on Jake Tapper show CNN and you're going to claim victimhood while you're making money off of t-shirts over a barb, an exchange, a disagreement. And let's not kill ourselves because I've seen this firsthand. Women can be very, and I'm not trying to be sexist when I say this, okay? So don't leave a comment about this. But women can be very competitive. I know I've seen it firsthand at work. Women can be very competitive. Believe you me. Believe you me. So this was really just a power exchange, power play between these three women. Marjorie Taylor Greene, Jasmine Crockett, and AOC. The baby girl, old baby girl, don't even play. Strike those words down. And then go out and make some money off of t-shirts that say, bleach blonde, badly built, butch body. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. You can follow me at Instagram, hashtag Jason Composes, because I write music in my spare time. Or you can go to X, Culture Confederacy at X. And you might notice with this channel, no fancy graphics, no FX soundtracks. That's the way we do it here, preserving great art, music, history, culture. If I didn't mention it at the beginning of the video. And try to do these in one take. Be more authentic with the audience. But that's what we do here. So thank you again for watching. God bless this thing called the United States. I'll catch you next time. And y'all have a great Monday.